Do you utilize monday.com? Well, let me show you how to integrate it with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the home screen of my monday.com account. Now, before we get started over in JotForm, we're going to need our API key in order to complete that integration. So in order to get our API key, I'm gonna head to the top right-hand corner. I'm gonna click on my avatar, we're gonna click on developers. Then over on the left-hand side, we'll choose my access tokens. We'll click show. And as soon as you click show, there will be a copy option here. Now make sure you save that and let's go ahead and head over to JotForm. Now for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and create a form from scratch. So top left-hand corner, let's create form from scratch on the classic form. And let's go ahead and bring in some popular form elements. We'll do name, email, and maybe we can do some long text. And let's say this form is about maybe support or troubleshooting. So maybe we can say, what is your error? Now to get this integrated with monday.com, we're gonna head up to the very top middle button settings. Then on the left-hand side, we're going to choose integrations. Next, we'll do a quick search for Monday. And as you can see, we have two different options. We can create an item or we can create an update. So first let's go ahead and create an item. We'll go next. And if you haven't already authenticated your account, this is where you're going to add a new account and add in your API key. I'm good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my action. Let's go ahead and choose our board. I want this to go into leads and new leads. And you can see that it's gonna automatically start populating fields to be matched. So we have our name. We're gonna match that to the name on the form. We also have our email and email. And then we have our comments as what is the error. Perfect. So let's go ahead and save. Now we can also, as we hover over this action, we can edit it or we can click on the three dots and the three dots is gonna let us see the complete action log. So every single form pretty much that has been ran through this integration, we can rename it, we can disable it or we can delete it all together. But let's go ahead and preview our form and let's do a quick fill form and let's go ahead and submit. Perfect, let's head back over to Monday. Let's jump into my leads and here we can see John Smith. So if we open up John Smith, we can see his comment right down here about his printer not working. So let's go ahead, head back over to our jot form and let's jump out of the preview form and let's go ahead and add a new action on this form and let's do create an update. So we'll do next, we'll add our action. We'll select that board of leads in the new leads and it's gonna ask us to select an item. And right now it's going to be John Smith because that is who has filled out this form. And let's say, what are we going to update? We're gonna say, we're gonna update what the error is. Go ahead and save. So let's go ahead and do preview form. We'll do fill form again, because it's gonna give us John Smith with that example. And as the person who is taking care of this troubleshooting ticket, we can say printer is now fixed. And then we can do our initials and the date. We'll do submit. All right, let's jump out of preview form. Let's head back over. And now we can see that we now have a conversation that has started and we have that update, all right? The printer is now fixed. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate your jot form with monday.com, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.